Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Hoogala boogala. Hoogala sugar boogala. Boogala who's a sugar boogala. Jordan It's trash. LeBron is the greatest. Hoogala boogala. How about the hoodie hoodie hoodie? Hey, with the hoodie hoodie hoo. It's a bitsy booty hoodie hoodie hoo. That's how the media sounds when it comes to talking about basketball, NBA basketball. When it comes to talking about the past, that's what they sound like. A bunch of hoobula boobula, koobula boobula garbage. Recently now, Anthony Edwards failed to dispel of talking stupid while being in an interview. I forgot who he's interviewing with. I thought when I first heard this, I thought he was interviewing with uh, Jalen Rose. I saw a thumbnail with Jalen Rose and Anthony Edwards and uh, Kevin Durant. I guess they had a sit down or talk, but I thought he said it during that because I know Jalen Rose would not let him say anything stupid as that. I don't even think KD would let him say anything stupid as what he said, but I guess it was for some paper or whatever. But folks, the reason why I have been making the video, the videos lately of comparisons of versus the recent one being JC K versus Stephen Curry. A couple of reasons. One, during the Olympics, probably even before the Olympics even started, they was comparing that dog headed ass team, the 2024 Olympic team, comparing it to the 92 dream team. And this is whole narrative out there that basketball players before 2000s, probably even probably even before that now, were not skilled. And if they was to play in this era, this current era, they would suck. So I compared some of the players from that '92 Dream Team to the players of today. I compared Clyde versus Paul George. I compared Anthony Davis versus Pat Ewing. I compared David Robinson uh, versus Joel Embiid. Uh, even though Ben Walls was on an Olympic team, but I compared Ben Walls versus Draymond Green. Because for the past, I don't know how many years now, we heard some of the most stupidest stuff ever. The most stupidest, egregious stuff. Now we get narratives saying David Robinson and Patrick Beverly, not Patrick Beverly, Patrick Ewan, wouldn't be able to play in this era. Dumb stuff like that. We're, we're hearing things like Stephen Curry being the best point guard to ever play the game of basketball, I mean, play the game of basketball at the point guard position. We're hearing things like that. That's why I made the video versus Jason Kidd versus Stephen Curry because some of the youngsters now probably born in the last 14 years so say they only seen Stephen Curry that's the point guard they have seen in this era they didn't see Jason Kidd at all by the time they probably even start watching basketball Jason Kidd was already coaching the Milwaukee Bucks or been on the Lakers or now with the Mavericks People think Stephen Curry is the prototype point guard, but he's not. He's a combo guard. He can shoot, but he cannot control the offense. I mean, facilitate the offense like a Jason Kidd could. He definitely couldn't rebound like a Jason Kidd could. He definitely couldn't play defense like Jason Kidd could. Everybody keeps talking about, oh, Steph is above, uh, above average defender in this era. He couldn't compete defensively with the guards back then like Jason Kidd had to. And Jason Kidd is part of that Jordan era, the later Jordan era. So that's why I made that video. To see what people's minds are thinking. What are, where their minds at when it comes to these comparisons. What they're thinking when it comes to history of basketball. Because the history of basketball right now, as far as the NBA, is being demented and turned into something. It's being erased like Thanos. Like I said before, we got the stands 
coming onto YouTube channels or saying whatever, saying that Jordan never played anybody for his six NBA finals, which we all know is not true, but I have to be continuing to put videos out there to educate the lost and the uneducated. Two, these videos are for educational purposes. So we gotta put that out there. We cannot let stupid stuff like what Anthony Edwards say go on. Three, it's just basketball. Yeah, it's having fun. It's the summertime still. The NBA season is another month away, month and a half away. There's not much to talk about up until today, of course. After the Olympics is over, that was pretty much it. And I don't want to talk about LeBron all the time, as much as I don't like the bastard. I don't want to talk about him all the time. I like to talk about other things in the NBA. Have a little fun with it, because I'm saving my best for last when it comes to LeBron. When the season starts, because we all know the Lakers season, this upcoming season, is about to be a catastrophe of comedy. But what Anthony Edwards said, saying, Oh, well, well, I didn't, oh, well, I'm really not familiar with uh, Jordan's era of basketball or what came during it or even before I came into the league, really, because I was born in 2001 or two, whatever year he was born in. Well, I didn't know, so I can't really speak on it. But I'm going to speak on it anyway and say that uh, the only person that was skilled back then was Jordan. No one else is skilled. How stupid can you be? To say that if you don't know much about basketball before the 2000s and before you was born don't say nothing don't say nothing at all just shut your mouth and move on we already know this been recording that KD was his favorite player growing up all right he was born in the early 2000s fine great we get it you're only 23, 22 years old. You don't know much. You're a young boy. You get it. But don't sit here and say that no one was skilled. It's not, we're not going to sit here and let him just say Curry wasn't skilled, Magic wasn't skilled, Clyde wasn't skilled, Hakeem wasn't skilled, Moses Malone wasn't skilled, Robert Parrish wasn't skilled, Mikhail wasn't skilled. Isaiah Thomas was a skill, Dennis Rodman was a skill, Scotty Pippen was a skill, Gary Payton was a skill, Gary Payton has snatched the freaking lunch money on anybody today playing. Sean Kim. Grant Hill. Shaq, of course. David Robinson. John Stockton just snatched the freaking lunch money out of the people playing today as well. And pass the pass the rock like crazy. Kareem, I forgot. We can go even far back. Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, AI, which I think he has on the list as his starting five of all time, which is confusing to me. The reason why he would say something as stupid as what he said. Ray Allen, Steve Nash, the late great Kobe Bean Bryant. We all know how skilled he was. Even lesser dudes. That I can't think of right now. Anthony Mason, Baron Davis, Jamal Mashburn, David Wesley. Ron Artest, Elton Brand. Ben Walls, of course, Rasheed Walls, Taste Zone Prince, Chauncey Billups. Rick Fox, Kevin Johnson, of course, Charles himself. Can't forget about him. I'm just going anywhere. Sharif are doing. You know what I'm saying. There's too many in the name right now. This is really, this is the reason why our channel is this to combat the nonsense that is out there. And I guess Isaiah Thomas, the Isaiah Thomas. Is already on his head, Anthony Everett's head, about this, but she should be. Joe Dumars, Rick Mahon, that wild white boy, Lambeer, of course, you know what I mean? Of course, 
That's it. If I didn't say Larry Bird, Larry Bird, Dennis Johnson, Kareem, of course, James Worthy, Byron Scott, old boy who's, I think he's about to get into a Hall of Fame or so. I can't think of his name right now. He's on the news, sports news in LA. I can't think of his name. Michael Cooper. There you go. Ron Hall. I could go on for all day. Dell Davis, Antonio Davis, Reggie Miller, I can have to be him, Mark Jackson, Rick Smith, Tim Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Come on, man. man. KG Paul Pierce. Can't think about the you know I didn't like his play, but even in Antonio, um, oh, Antonio McNice, Antonio, freak, Antoine Walker. I don't know what I said, Antoine. Antoine Walker. She got Tony Delt, scored 50 points a game. Come on now, man. Clifford Robertson, rest in peace to him. All these dudes, man. All these dudes had this. But I had to agree with everyone else who has spoke about this so far. I guess skill, according to these guys, is, I guess, step back threes. That's skill. Anthony Edwards, I want you to put a chair, grab a chair, a folding chair. Don't hit yourself with it, but grab, grab a folding chair. Put it in the corner, take that dunce head on the island right there, and put it on your head, and bow your head to think about what you just said. Don't you look like somebody, don't you look like a kid that was probably in the corner all the time in high school, in middle school, in elementary school for being bad? He was just bad all the time. That's what Anthony Edwards looked like. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to like you, man. But you're doing stupid stuff. You're saying stupid stuff. You're saying weird things. Anyways, Andy Edwards, you do get an award today. You big dummy. On the behalf of Franchise Media, the Franchise Sports TV would like to award the BBL Chaser Champion, the Minnesota Timberwolves guard, Anthony Edwards. The dumbass of them off award for his asinine comments regarding the history of the NBA. Enjoy, Mr. Edwards. Everyone, give a big round of applause to this big dummy. He deserves it. You niggas are crazy!